Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Win and Neil Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel today. It's very much appreciated. Just wanted to thank everyone who likes, shared, and subscribed to the to the channel. Um, you know, you are helping the channel to grow, and thank you for your support and for your comments. I'm gonna give a big shout out to Eddie. <laughs> There's always, you know, you're always there, Eddie. Thank you for that. All right. Okay, we're going to go a little bit deep today, I think, I think, because my spirit guides have been keeping me up all night. All right. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she, that's for my benefit. Sometimes the story might be vice versa. All right. Now, just bear with me while I get this all together, okay? Um, okay. You may have been in a situation where there was a lot of red flags going on around you regarding a person in your life. Um, I kind of feel like um, this person was put in a position of either to make it or break it with you, okay? Um, they have been impacted by your presence or your energy even though they're not um, actively showing it to you because you are the, the yin to the yang of this person. There is no doubt about the connection between you and this person. Now, there's a lot playing out right now in the 3D. Um, but in the 5D, you and this person are actually together. Okay. Now, there's a reason why everything has to play out the way it, it does. is because this person has to um, learn something here. Okay, now um, I am feeling that if you're the female in this situation, you are confused um, because you feel the connection so strongly, but now you feel maybe it was just, it was just you that was feeling that way, that maybe there wasn't um, that connection, but you're absolutely wrong. Okay, I feel that you, you are highly intuitive and I feel that you have a very strong connection to the divine. And I kind of feel that the divine constantly keeps putting you and this person in and out of each other's lives, okay? Because this person doesn't want to recognize um, or is not ready um, to really actually settle down, even though that they may have a history of settling down, okay? But they're actually not ready because they keep settling for the wrong people. All right. So every time they that they meet their 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 counterpart, which is you, um, the the energy is so strong. You're always in the presence. The the connection between you, whether it's passionately or you know the the conversations that you have, the banter that you have, the the ups and downs and whatever that that is a connection that. Um, you know, not only you're both teaching each other something. Uh, but you are both learning from each other as well, okay? So there's a lot more growth in this situation, but somebody is holding back. Somebody is holding back from you, all right? I strongly feel that you and this person um, had a lot of conversations, you know, that was to and from, you, you spoke a lot together. You know, but this problem, the problem is this person keeps dipping in and out of your, your life and um, and their own alignment. And also your life is, is constantly confusing when it comes to this person, all right? And if it's vice versa, just reverse it, okay? This person likes to attach themselves to people that have low vibration, all right? And the problem is here that because you and this person are uh, the yin and yang and, and the twin flame to each other, you both feel each other. So when you're going through anxiety, they feel it. When you're they're going through anxiety, you feel it, okay? When they're going into a low vibration, it pulls you back in. When you're in a high vibration, it pulls them back in. Okay, so it, it is a very confusing situation, okay? But they prefer to dip into people that have uh, low vibrations so they can distract themselves, you know, from um, their true feelings, okay? 
when things are on are on, the connection is very strong. There's a lot of shared humor, a lot of sense of um, you know wanting and and wanting to be together. But when they're distracted by low vibrational people, it puts the two of you out of alignment again. Okay, so they possibly would have ghosted you or breadcrumbed you uh, for a, a period of time and, and you wonder where they are and who they're with, but uh, you're on a higher vibration level to this person and um, when he, I'm gonna say he, uh, meets you at that level, the connection is very, very strong, but when he's in a low vibration, he deals with people and acts on impulse and sleeps around, I'm gonna tell you, he sleeps around and, and you feel it. So whenever this person is with somebody else, you actually feel it, okay? So I feel like you're trying to disconnect so you don't go through these emotions because they're not yours. They're not your emotions, all right? So I'm gonna say maybe in the last 24 hours that your vibration made it being very high and either they were at a low or they were feeling the same vibration as you. So the cards are saying to you that um, you have been on your own or you may be go gonna be on your own for a little bit longer and you need someone that adds more to your life, not somebody that adds stress to your life. So when this person is in and out of um, this connection, it's, it's affecting you. So when they are with uh, others, there is a block. There is a block. And I kind of feel like your spirit guide stepped in and blocked this connection, okay? So your spirit guides are actually blocking them from coming in because your spirit guides know that you and this person are together in the 5D. But this person needs to get the act together in the 3D because this is the last cycle that you and this person have the opportunity to get together, okay? So, um, you know, once this is over, it, it's done. It's done. There's no coming back from this connection, okay? So, um, I kind of feel like your heart is really breaking, okay? Because... Uh, when you're both in alignment, it's the most beautiful connection where um, two people can actually be themselves and don't have to worry about impressing anybody or, um, you know, entertaining anybody but each other, you know. But unfortunately, there is a lot of people in your way, all right. So, but it's your energy that intimidates them too, okay. Uh, because they know that your heart is pure. They know that, you you know, they're terrified of their feelings when it comes to you, okay? They may have a few childhood traumas, you know, where they never felt um, the love that they wanted to feel and when they finally did, it was maybe taken away from them. So in their mind, in their heart, they do not want to connect to anybody else in, in that way because they have a fear of people leaving them. But what this person doesn't realise is that so do you. You have a fear of people leaving you as well because you've been through so much heartache. You're, you're here on this earth trying to do a job and, you know, when the universe sees that you and this person are going through something that is similar because you, you keep coming together, this is meant to happen and then the fear pulls you apart. And then you come together because it's meant to happen and the fear pulls you apart, all right? They are never gonna find this energy with anybody else, no matter who they gravitate to, okay? Their guides are actually saying it, not my guides. Their guides are actually saying they will never find your energy in anyone, okay? They need to decide if they want to stay in a high vibration or a low, you know, vibration, which is a wasted time, really, and energy. They're self-limiting themselves, self-sabotaging themselves, keeping themselves stuck um, in stagnation with people who are temporary, okay? They will feel more empty in the future. 
okay? Because if they're feeling empty now, they're going to feel it a lot more in the future when they lose you completely, okay? Um, in saying that, you are the ultimate goal, okay? So this person needs to let go of um, the old in the sense of old patterns and old ways of doing things, okay? And they may go through a spiritual awakening that may cause some chaos in their life and it may alt be altering for them, okay? But at the, in the same sense, it is leading to something that uh, is undeniably uh, one of the best connections that they have ever had. But they also pretend to be happy when deep down they are, you know, there's a hollowness about inside them. They feel hollow and they wonder whether you feel the same way or not. Um, they've made a lot of mistakes in their life, okay? But at the same time, they they do understand the lessons. But, um, you know, they came in and tried to teach you like others, treat you like others. You, you cannot treat a high priestess or an empress like other people. They're too highly intuitive. They will know your next move while you're making, before you even make it, okay? So I get the feeling that you, as the high priestess, knew that this person had slept with somebody else. It may have been in a social scene, it may have been in a workplace, but you knew, you knew, you felt it, you felt the, the anxiety just going through you, and, you know, you, you may not have picked up straight away what was going on, but boy, you could not avoid this. You couldn't. No matter how much you tried to settle this down, you couldn't, okay? And um, anyway, I just want to tell you that you, um, you are highly connected to the divine. So anyone that um, connects with you is actually a privilege to be in your life. And you may not have realized this as you were growing up and you wondered why a lot of people came in and out of your life, but they came in and out of life, in your life for a lesson one way or another, okay? So you've had a lot of painful hurts because you've had to teach people how to love. And to teach people how to love means that you have to open up your heart. And every time you open up your heart and you teach somebody how to love, they leave you for somebody else. But they're not meant to be with you. But this one that comes in and out of your life all the time, that's your actual true twin flame. Okay? So that's why you're going through a lot of trauma with this person. But they are aware that you are the high priestess and they are trying to better themselves and you know you're the ideal person but they have met you at the wrong time and they're trying to forget you and you feel it but you have a an energy they can't forget okay so whenever they try to disconnect they find their mind traveling towards you okay you may start um, doubting yourself regarding this connection and you may feel that you know maybe I'm just asking for too much maybe I'm just um, giving too much maybe I need to put, pull back my energy maybe maybe you know there's a there's a lot of maybes but I'm gonna tell you maybe not maybe not you just stay who you are stay who you are okay Stay in your confidence, okay? You are highly loved by a lot of people. You are highly appreciated by a lot of people, okay? I'll be honest with you. If this person came into your life while you were on a high vibration, which turned their energy into a high vibration, you would not have been interested in this person on the level, you know, of your heart space and your connection and your energy. If they didn't meet that, you wouldn't be interested in them. So I'm, I'm feeling that this is the reason why you're having a hard time connecting to other people because you, you're not feeling the connection of the heart space. You're not feeling the energy. You're not feeling that 
this is going to be for the long term. So I kind of feel like you have been single for a while and, and this person is probably the longest lasting person in your life anyway, between the two of you, okay? So from the time that you meet, regardless from, you know, the ins and outs, the other people, it's never lasted. And this person is gonna start to understand why it's never lasted and why they keep running away from this connection, all right? So they are going to go through an awakening. It's all in a matter of perfect timing, okay? They may feel that they are not ready to be in your vibration, but at the same time, they don't want to lose you. So I kind of feel that, you know, there will be something that is going to um, eventually come together. You know, some sort of a proposal between the two of you to, to stay in each other's lives. Because right now, if they continue to um, to hurt you in the way of not wanting to come forward or not wanting to fix the situation or not wanting to heal the situation, then this cycle will close out and it will not come back together again. You know, and it does upset the universe because in the 5D, you are together. So what will be, what is meant for you, will come in, okay? And this person will soon learn that all these low vibrations, all these waste of time people, all right, are only causing you to have less and less and less time together. So there is going to be a wake-up call in this person's life. And until then, you need to keep working on yourself, focusing on yourself and what you want to do. Um, you know, until this situation comes around again. And when it does come around again, that's the final time that it comes around. Okay? But right now, this person was working out of an energy of make it or break it with you. Okay? And when this other interference came in due to drunken behaviour, or some workplace or social scene, it destroyed everything. And I feel like this person is a witch. I do. I feel like this person works with dark energy and I feel like this person hides a lot, okay? And they were very, very envious and jealous of the connection that you had with this person because they can actually see you two together in the 5D in a better position than they will ever be because you are divinely guided. So I hope this message really comes through to you and I hope your person starts to wake up for you. Okay? All right, everyone, I wish you all the best and thank you for your support and please share and like and subscribe to the channel if you're happy with the reading. All right, take care, everyone. Bye for now.